Hi everyone, this is Leslie coming to you live. It is Wednesday, August 1st. Happy August to you today. Um, we are going to be discussing the uh, Orange County market, housing market update today. Um, so uh, while we wait for others to join, hi Mike, hi Alexis, thanks so much for joining. Um, while we wait for others to join, of course, I always like to remind you um, to please heart and like and wow, um, anything that you find interesting in today's discussion. Um, it is, well, I've seen varying um, thermometer readings, but it's about 95 here today in Mission Viejo, so it's pretty warm. Um, so I'm just curious what you are doing this warm Wednesday afternoon, so please feel free to share. Uh, I know sometimes it can be a little challenging on Facebook to see exactly who's watching, so if you can leave a comment or a question to let me know you're out there, I would greatly appreciate it. Hi, Mike. Thanks so much for saying hello. Um, so again, that way uh, I know that you're out there. Um, again, commenting is great. Um, as always, the information that we're discussing today is going to uh, be available to you either in the description link, um, which is just a simple link that you click on and it goes straight to the blog post, or uh, you can go to our website, www.theswanteamoc.com and go up to the top right corner and you'll see blog. You simply click on that and that will take you to the most recent blog post, which like I had mentioned is the August Orange County housing update. So um, having said that, it's good to hear Alexis that you're working from your home office today. That's awesome. I hope you have um, either a really cool breeze or great air conditioning working for you. And Mike, you're working on an interior barn door. Awesome, that sounds great. Um, barn doors are a great way to add a cool feature to your house and then also ideally make um, perhaps an entrance more efficient, so that's awesome. As always as well, um, there are different options on the Facebook page that I'd like to share with you that uh, can help you connect to the SWAN team and all of our uh, resources and information. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page, which is the SWAN Team OC, and you will see when you look left, uh, there are email options and you can subscribe to the monthly Orange County Housing Update, which is a very thorough and specific um, report that is for all of Orange County. You can also subscribe to our monthly newsletter, which is a compilation of all of our blog posts, as well as any other interesting information going on, as well as our Facebook Live videos like this, our episode of Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love. And then we also have where you can subscribe to the, um, you can subscribe to the blog news feed. Sorry about that. I all of a sudden forgot what I was talking about. Um, so that every week you can see what the new blog topic is. Um, it's always fun if you do subscribe to that because you can see actually what is going to be uh, the topic for the Wednesday episode of Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love. So, um, and you can kind of almost be ahead of the game and, and know what we're going to discuss. So um, that's an option. And then of course, too, uh, we have a seller guidebook and a buyer guidebook that um, you can subscribe to as well. We have actually had a lot of people recently um, contacting us for those guidebooks, which um, makes us very happy because we love being able to share our resources and our expertise and that information to help anyone and everyone um, feel successful in their real estate transactions and achieve their real estate goals. So hi Colleen, thanks so much for joining us today. As I mentioned again, we are going to be talking about the Orange County housing update. Um, it's a little different this time than it has been in past uh, months, so it'll be interesting to go over that with everyone. Again, as I mentioned, you can access the blog post that has even more detailed information than I am going to discuss with you today. I'm going to give you a broad overview and summary um, and pull um, give you some takeaways and some key points, um, but there is a lot more detailed information that you can access on the blog, again, by simply clicking on the link in the description, 
or you can go to our website at www.theswanteamoc.com and up in the top uh, right corner there is blog. So having said all of that, hi Mike, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, we'll get right into it then as far as the Orange County housing update and the housing report. Um, things are changing a little bit and um, you know it's not I don't know if it's what people want to hear it depends I guess your perspective um, but active inventory has gone up by three percent in the past two weeks in Orange County and demand has gone down by two percent in the past two weeks and the luxury end of homes which are homes that are cons um, homes that are priced at 1.25 million and above, uh, the demand for those homes has dropped by 5%. And um, what this tells us basically is that the Orange County housing market is actually shifting from a seller's market to a more balanced market. It's not, the pendulum isn't swinging or the scale isn't swinging now to where it's a buyer's market, but it is more of a balanced market, which, um, you know, especially if you are selling a home to buy a home, uh, it actually probably leaves you in a pretty good spot or it leaves you at an even spot anyway, because when you have to sell your home, but then, you know, and you feel like, oh great, I sell my home for a lot, but then you have to buy a home for a lot. You know, again, you're kind of averaging out, but uh, I would say that I think buyers are actually getting maybe just a little bit, a little bit of relief because inventory is increasing. Um, and I think that that has a lot to do with also the fact that more and more new home builders have been building homes as well. So there's still continuing to be new construction that people are purchasing. Um, so it, you know, it just increases inventory. Um, obviously when we're talking about inventory, um, for the housing market, we're talking more about, um, not, not, uh, new construction homes, uh, existing homes, but, um, again, that has a factor and plays into it when people are considering those homes. Um, so as I mentioned, with demand continuing to drop to levels that we haven't seen in over a decade, um, housing is rapidly evolving into a balanced market, which, you know, if you are of my mindset, which I kind of like things all in moderation and, um, you know, and somewhat balanced and fair, um, it's not a bad thing. It's just a little bit of a change and perhaps maybe even a little bit of a wake up call to sellers who want to, um, you know, go for, you know, shoot for the moon and hope to end up in the stars. Uh, it'll, it just indicates that more and more you really need to look at the specific comps in your community and your specific area, your specific floor plan to determine um, what pricing you should um, strategize for and actually list your home for. Um, again, so just so you know, um, to kind of recap, the market has favored sellers for, um, for years now with very few homes and tremendous demand. Um, but more homes on the market and gradually falling demand, that's what's caused the balance. Just to give you kind of some perspective, last year in 2017, demand was 18% higher. Um, and the last time that demand was this low was actually in 2007, which, if any of you can remember, 2007 is actually um, pretty much when the market had somewhat of a crash. <laughs> it's not somewhat, it did have a crash in, 20, in 2007. Um, again, there has been a gradual shift in the demand, which um, you know is, is different than 2007. Um, and I am certainly not indicating that we are looking at a crash. We are, again, looking at more of a balanced um, market right now where there are an even amount of buyers and sellers um, out there. So again, depending on what side of the fence you are on, um, whether you're a buyer or seller, 
it's just important information to understand so that, again, you can um, set the right expectations and the right goals uh, depending on your real estate needs and, um, and goals. So, um, again, just something to keep in mind. Also, something that's kind of playing into this demand and kind of just looking back at history, um, when we're looking at mortgage rates right now, the national average is 4.6%, which, again, historically, when you look at them, that is still incredibly low. However, um, this is the highest it's been since 2011, which, you know, isn't, I don't think it's anything, it's certainly nothing to be concerned about. It's just perspective. Um, again, when you look back to times in the 80s when interest rates were at 16%, 17%, 4.6 uh, is nothing in comparison to that. So um, it's just, again, how things are balancing out a little bit. Uh, you know, money isn't quite as cheap as it used to be. Um, it is still very inexpensive, relatively speaking, um, you know, in comparison to if you just go out and get a credit card, obviously you're at a much higher rate than 4.6%. Um, so, but that's just something again, to kind of give you an idea of where we are and where the housing market is um, today and right now. And, um, Again, thir there has been 13% more supply year over year, um, and there, the demand is down 16% year over year. So again, when we had incredibly low supply, but we had high demand, we're now just kind of creeping and getting to the middle. So ideally, it should be actually a really great thing where things, you know, no one's getting gouged, no one is um, getting taken advantage of, we're at a balanced market. And again, this is where now more than ever, it's crucial to work with a real estate professional to determine what the actual value of your home is. Uh, because, you know, picking it out of, of the highest sale that is within a mile of you um, and saying that's what I want my house to be priced at isn't necessarily accurate if your house is two bedrooms smaller and 2,000 square feet smaller. Um, so again, that's where the help of a real estate professional or a real estate professional team like the Swan team, uh, that's where it is crucial that you work with someone like us so that we can make sure to price your home correctly and get it sold quickly. Um, so again, it's certainly not a, a buyer's market by any means. Um, but what the buyer does have now are more choices. And what we even had earlier this year, which was, you know, homes flying off the market with 32 offers uh, three days in, that is calming down a little bit. There are still those extraordinary homes or those unique homes that are priced right or even priced slightly under that create that buzz and that demand, and they are still getting a lot of offers. Um, again, that's a strategy, and oftentimes it's a very effective strategy that we like to um, utilize because when you have competition, that creates demand. Um, so again, pricing it right, pricing it accurately, and making sure that your home is in tip-top condition and you know truly turnkey, um, neutralized, and meaning that you know the paint is a fairly neutral color, that um, things are relatively up to date, and that a buyer doesn't see that they would have to make a lot of adjustments to the home. Um, that is. The type of thing or that is the type of home that a buyer is looking for that a buyer would be willing to put that offer in um, so that's just something to consider um, again if you are a buyer um, or I'm sorry if you're a seller you might have to work a little bit harder than you have in the past couple of years and that's okay um, you know, half the time, some of the things that a seller maybe doesn't want to do, um, they end up having to do when they have the uh, home inspection done and they get the request for repairs from the buyer. So sometimes if you get that done actually ahead of time, then it makes it that just 
it makes it that much easier to sell in the long run. And again, um, accurate pricing is key for um, success. And that's where, again, working with a team like the SWAN team, that's what we're here to do is to uh, accurately gauge where your home fits in amongst the homes in your community and in your area um, so that we can get you the most for your house um, and sell it as quickly as possible. Again, you know, it behooves us to sell your house for as much as possible. That is always our goal. Um, and when we're helping buyers, it's always our goal to get you the greatest value for your home based on the comparables that have sold. Um, so again, crucial that you don't just rely on information that perhaps you get from Zillow or any of the other websites, but that you actually consult with a professional um, or a professional team like us, the SWAN team. So again, just a few takeaways for you. Um, the best advice for a buyer is to know that you have more choices. You um, don't have to panic and you don't have to rush. Um, again, in certain extraordinary circumstances where uh, there are certain niches of homes that at least I'm still seeing here in Mission Viejo and in South Orange County where um, there is still a lot of demand, um, and that is in particular in that $700,000 range where, um, you know, in a three to four bedroom home, uh, there is still a lot of demand and uh, sellers are still getting multiple offers. Um, so that particular market maybe isn't as affected, again, as the homes that are, excuse me, at a higher price point. Um, and again, the homes that you prepare to sell aren't as affected as homes that, yeah, I think my house looks good, let's do it, take some pictures, and let's get done with this, as opposed to really taking the steps to plan to make sure that your home is primed and ready to earn um, top dollar and um, to sell quickly and to have a lot of demand. So, uh, Again, buyers do have choices and sellers, pricing is the key indicator, not the median sales price. Um, so just something to always think about when you are pricing your home. So having said all of that, that is, um, again, just kind of a summary of the Orange County Housing Report. As I mentioned, it is, a, it is gradually moving now to a balanced market. Um, where it's not necessarily favoring the buyer or the seller, but it's more balanced, which, again, could be a very great thing. Um, it's not by any means moving towards a buyer's market. It is simply balancing out a little bit as a result of the increase in supply and the decrease in demand. So I guess as one of my economic professors in college, not that I can remember any of their names um, would remember it's you know it's just basic supply and demand and how uh, how that works so having said all that again you can go to the blog and read more of the specific information all you have to do is click the link in the description to this post or you can go to our website at www.theswanteamoc.com and go up to the top right corner where, where you will see the title blog. Click on that and you will see um, that will take you to our blog page that has our most recent blog post and then in addition um, a list of uh, in chronological order our other blog posts. Of course if you have any specific questions that you'd like to ask us you can contact us anytime by either direct messing it messaging us through Facebook or Instagram, or you can call us at 949-444-1601 or email us at info at the swan team oc.com. Um, as always, I like to thank everyone so much for the referrals of friends and family uh, to work with. We have had such uh, joy with so many of the clients that we've worked with this year and through the years. And um, again, we appreciate any referral that you send our way. So please keep them coming. Uh, and of course, as always with uh, the name of these episodes, Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love, 
um, we will donate $500 to the school of your choice for any property that we help you sell or buy because it is important to us that you love uh, your community and that you give back to it and we want to help with that. Um, and as I've mentioned in the past, we have donated over $10,000 to date, um, which is very exciting and it is um, makes us really happy and excited that we've been able to give back in that way, um, especially to the schools because uh, these days, especially here in California, unfortunately, we need more funding than ever. So uh, super happy that we can do that. But if there aren't any other questions that anyone has or any other comments, like I said, contact me directly. Otherwise, uh, look out for our next episode of Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love next Wednesday on, um, oh, I'm sorry, it is next Wednesday at four o'clock. Um, so be sure to tune in for that. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the week and a great weekend. And as always, love where you live, give where you love, and take care. Bye.